Let's introduce you to the healing brushes. They're located right over here. You have a number of them. Spot healing brush tool, healing brush tool, patch tool, content aware move tool, the red eye tool. Um, these are these are all uh, tools that help you with the uh, content aware. Also in the edit menu you have content aware scale and in the fill menu you'll have content aware as a fill option as well. So uh, let's start with the spot healing brush tool and show you how that works. I'm going to press command one so we can zoom in all the way on this image and let's uh, let's remove uh, some blemishes on this image. And so the spot healing brush tool acts just like a brush. You can use your right and left bracket keys to make your brush bigger or smaller. You can hold shift down while you're uh, using your bracket keys to make the brush softer edged or harder edged. I have a softer edge brush right now and I'm just going to click and paint where that blemish is. And what the tool does is it looks around close by and pulls in pixels and blends them in. Again, all you have to do is just paint and let go and then bang, they're done. The healing brush tool works uh, uh, with one additional step and so uh, it allows you to choose where you're going to heal from, whereas the spot healing brush heal tool uh, does that all on its own. And so what you need to do first is to choose an area that you want to use. Let's say over here, and I'll hold the option key down. It it turns into a target, and I'll click. And then when I come over here, I can make my brush a little bigger. You'll notice that where the crosshair is, it's pulling from that area and painting over here, and then it blends it. It blends it in. All right. That's the spot healing brush tool. So for example. The healing brush tool, if I came over here and wanted to remove this, may pull some of the eye over there. You can see a little bit of the of the eye line there. And so that's where the regular healing brush tool allows you to hold your option key down and say, well, pull from this area, not over by the eye. And then you can paint in there and let go. All right, the patch tool acts more like a lasso tool. So for example, if I wanted to draw a selection around this eye, then depending on whether I have it as source or destination, if I choose source and drag it over here, what will happen is it will, it will pull from this area and blend it in over here. If I have it on destination, then it takes this over and blends it in over here. So um, that is the patch tool. The content aware move tool allows you to um, move areas from, uh, move things from one area to another and heal the area that's left behind. So if I take this, and I say I want to move it down here. It'll try and heal this area up here and move it, move it down here. So that's a very quick introduction to the to the move tool. So let's heal this poor thing. So I'm going to pull from over here and make a bigger brush and just paint and there it is. Can you see how awesome those tools are? They are absolutely amazing.